A road sign says to turn right in 1,000 feet. Approximately how far is this distance in kilometers? We want to convert feet to kilometers. Now using your data pages in the back, we want to convert feet to kilometers. I don't see a direct conversion between feet and kilometers. I see feet here, I see yards, I see feet here, which is a foot, and uh, I see centimeters. Now. Let's use, so the one where I see a foot is 12 inches, so there's no direct conversions. We need to find an indirect conversion. Ultimately, we want to work with kilometers, and the only place where I see kilometers is here. So this here, one kilometer is a thousand meters. So we want kilometers, and we know kilometers to meters, so we need a connection between feet and meters to go indirectly. So this here is pretty close, not quite meters, but centimeters to meters, we can we can definitely make, make use of this and uh, make our way towards kilometers. So I'm gonna use this fact here, one foot equals approximately 30.48 centimeters. So we have here a thousand feet, that's the distance we're interested in. And I'm gonna convert these feet into centimeters. So I'm gonna multiply this result distance by I'm going to multiply this by 1. We're allowed to multiply things by 1 because anything times 1 is itself. So what am I going to multiply it by? I'm going to multiply it by this ratio, which is 1 foot. 1 foot is equals to 30.48 centimeters. So the reason why I write it 30.48 over 1 as opposed to 1 over 30.48 is because I want the feet to cancel out when we have something times something else as a fraction. This here is also a fraction. The uh, diagonals cancel out. So the feet and the feet cancel out, and we end up with centimeters. So this here, using our calculator, it's going to be 1,000 times 30.48. 30.48. So in terms of centimeters, we have 30,480. 30, centimeters, that's what we have here. Now we want to convert centimeters to kilometers. Now some of us may have already memorized that one meter equals 100 centimeters, it's right here. So I'm going to mul multiply this answer by one. We're allowed to multiply anything by one is, is itself. So here I want the centimeters to cancel out, so I'm going to write 100 centimeters on the bottom. This here is one meter and then we can essentially cancel out the centimeter units and get the number of meters, which is equals to 30,480 divided by 100. Our calculator shows us we have 304.8 meters. So now we're getting very close. To convert this meters into kilometers, we have this uh, ratio as well. So this here is equal, this is the same thing as times one. So I want the meters to cancel out. So I'm going to write down a thousand meters at the bottom here. I have one kilometer here. This is okay because we're multiplying by one. This essentially is numerator and denominator is the same. These meters cancel out and we end up with kilometers. So we have this, the numerators, 304.8 divided by a thousand, the denominator, it's equals to 0 0.3048 kilometers. So that's our final answer, which is approximately 0.3 kilometers. Choice A is correct.